Hi, uh, HR interviews are one of the compulsory rounds for every kind of job. Normally, it takes years to analyze one single person. But still, why HR interview rounds are conducted? Because it is just to have a small gist on what you are. How will you work in their company and how you behave when you are placed in a typical corporate lifestyle? Or maybe a setup called as private or a government or a semi-government. Your working attitude and everything will be just noted and highlighted but not remarked just by one interview. Mostly these interviews are kept to know how good you are in expressing and also how creatively you think to handle situations. Uh, if it's a government HR interview or let's say a private HR interview round then make sure that you have at least know about the famous person related to that organization. People who are already you know working they have a work experience and they can tell you something about that particular company to which you are going for an interview better you are prepared in advance it will augur well for you all and try to know more about the uh, maybe the state, the economic status and everything that is related to that particular uh, state, that particular company, its culture and everything about it. As much as you know, the, the more confident you walk into an interview process. That is what is most important. So, here we are going to give you a small hint on how all the common types of questions you face and the way to answer them. We are not going to uh, give you the exact answer. Most important is what we are trying to look at is the temperament and the attitude of how to approach HR questionnaires. Some frames on what you have to answer accordingly, which may be helpful to you in a longer run. Be it your, the job you are taking for the first time or maybe you are taking for the second or the third, any nth number of job, how to approach how to build that kind of a temperament and attitude is what we are going to talk about in this particular shoot. So what you should not miss is one of the best opportunities you are facing that point of time. There are many differences in HR rounds. Uh, some of them could be like various types of interviews that you attend. Informational interview just for the information whether you are good, bad, ugly on the surface. Telephonic round which is a typical round which many of you must have faced one to one interview which is called as face to face one to many interview many to one also there is a panel you know sits across and there's one single interview IAS interviews are typically like that behavioral interview to see what how you behave stress interviews video conference interview which is which is going to be a mainstay here because now the pandemic has taken a toll and the entire scene from offline to online has shown its domino effect. So there will be a lot of changes which you need to customize yourself and, and maybe develop yourself with this video conference interview. Situational interviews are also one of types. So here we are going to give you a combination of all the above formats in this particular shoot uh, where all these questions are most commonly you come across those so the most common questions that you normally come across in a typical interview HR setup we are going to give you an orientation of it things are normally asked uh, from what you say so you need to choose your word you need to be conscious of what you are saying and remember also because many a times you just say with a flow and you forget what you have spoken that actually gets highlighted or get re-exposed and you come across with the same uh, question getting rephrased and you need to show the consistency behind so that is where you need to be confident about and do not hesitate to come back to the same word and show what kind of consistency you have shown let us consider every question now there will be 52 questioners coming your way and you need to crisply you know prepare try and understand the temperament the attitude the approaches we are talking we are seeing only the approaches of how to answer a typical HR questionnaire you need to learn only the approaches and phrase your own answer taking a clue from what we are explaining to you right so build your psyche the right psyche to crack any interview HR interview for that matter tell me something about yourself I 
uh, had a fantastic uh, student who happened to answer the same question very nicely and he's coming from a village so his name is Naveen Naveen tried and approached this answering it very beautifully so I'm quoting Naveen here he starts he says my name is Naveen Kumar I have completed my undergraduation from GNTU with distinction my father is a farmer and my mother is a homemaker my siblings work for IT industries and have their own business my interest is to become a software engineer and can exhibit all that education which I have been learning from all these years other than this I play cricket I'm a good filmmaker too now if you see how Naveen has answered he has beautifully explained everything and in a flow he started with his name his family history his interest his education and career objective which goes in a flow which explains that Naveen is, is kind of a sorted guy he knows about himself he knows about what he is doing consciously and I think that's a good flow so what you need to understand is you can have your name followed by your native followed by your family history followed by your interest and the last thing that you should you know finish off this introduction with the career objective but I'm sure how you are answering what you are answering based on this you will have the second question coming and the second question here is how many siblings you have and what they are doing so Naveen was able to answer it that he has two elder brothers one is working with the IT company and the second is having his own business that's coming out from the first question whatever answers that you quote in the question number one questions to be followed next number two was out of the answer coming in uh, from the first question itself about siblings so Naveen was able to answer it very very nicely you have any plans for studying further out of a blue you can get a surprise also and this question is for a surprise right do you have plans to study more have you put a full stop to your study it can be asked in any way you need to really answer it putting your mind never say that you have put a full stop to your study always say yes and how Naveen has answered this yes I'm interested in doing my MBA and doing it in finance but I want to do it maybe after two or three years because I wanted to have a working experience in a growing organization like yours. So something which is logically expected, I think Naveen was able to do that, which you all should also learn and do it nicely. Since Naveen answered uh, the first question by saying that he likes to play cricket, he has an interest to play cricket. So the next question, question number fourth is coming based on his interest, which is playing cricket what do you like most in cricket and why that they ask such question to know about your explanation that you give for your answers by which the candidates way of looking into things can be judged see how Naveen is answering is I like Sachin Tendulkar and Yuvraj Singh in cricket I like the way Sachin keeps you know holding his place playing a role of a sheet anchor in the game and when it's important for a team to be there, I think he, is, he stands up for the team and he, he ensures that there are there is no fall of wickets more. And Yuvraj, who is also called as Yuvi as nickname, uh, with the way he handled things, you know, when he comes as fourth down and when the team needs more runs, in a shorter span, less ball, he scores more. So. What a way to answer. I think you need to understand the approach of how Naveen has answered, right? Now, the next question, the question number fifth, which is coming is, so what are you in cricket team? So if you like cricket, what is that you are playing a role when you play cricket in your team? How you name yourself, either Yuvraj or Sachin? So Naveen was very good to understand this question and he says, First of all, that this type of question is asked to know about the judgment you give to your style of work and it's an interpretation of your answering to a question which is a cricket, your interest, but it is to, to be derived how you will play an important role or how you see yourself to play your role in, in the workplace. So he said, sir, I'm an all-rounder, I'm 
little more near to yuvraj still i am me because i think i am a good batsman and when there is a need for me to score more i love doing it this is how navin has answered so look at the approach again the sixth question which is kind of a tricky and a case study question is hmm great to hear uh, let's think about a situation where you are a player in a team and your team is losing the match what you do from your side to help your team now this question is to test your ability as a team player here comes the same role to be played in the company also so answer it in such a way that you are helping your team try and understand the psyche behind it gets easier for you to answer every question so it's it's related to see how navin answers is so it's related to my position in the game if i am on the ground i try to hold on my place if i am batting i would like to score maximum if i am bowling i would like to have all the bo- balls being bowled ducks no runs scored or maybe take wickets if i am a fielder i would like to throw myself every place stop runs or maybe try attempting as many catches as possible so that will be my role on ground let's say if i am outside the ground then i'll try to encourage the players by maybe shouting hooting and encouraging motivating my my fellow team members by giving them some suggestion if it is possible for me to give suggestion i would like to give suggestions maybe don't uh, put a ball on the uh, on the off side he's stronger there maybe put it on a block hole and put it on in front of his leg so that it becomes highly unplayable take you you never know that you might take wicket if you are putting it to your strength and his weaknesses so i'll try and pass on such suggestion to my friend and uh, whatever that best i can do at that point of time i will definitely do to be to sound like a team player how beautifully answered the next question is what are your interest see uh, never club your likes and interest likes can be different and interest can be different be clear with what your interest is what your hobby is and what your passion is you need to differentiate interest is something that you would like to do when when you get time when you have a free time and you enjoy doing it but passion is something that you like to do all the time right and you need to differentiate both the answers so let's try and understand the psyche behind how to answer a question which is typically based on your interest or passion right let's say if a hobby is something which you regularly do in your free time and passion is having a strong emotion which is barely controllable uncontrollable make sure that you never tell watching television as your hobby this may put you in a bad impression uh, as a profession if you feel you are a damn sure that you uh, that you like uh, television uh, watching something very specific and you have an answer go ahead and do it right uh, make sure that you are ready to answer it and answer it logically uh, how navin was able to you know pull off this question as by answering i have interest in film making because he has answered it earlier so he is clubbing how consistent he has become see i have interest in film making and my hobby is playing video games cricket browsing internet and sometimes writing stories for my films everything whatever he said he can be able to you know protect his argument that's the reason he is so consistent and conscious lot right this gives an idea uh, to also discuss your passion if you are if you are answering something on your passion part which you'd like to you know do it uh, every now and then i think you need to be very clear that tell them that why you do it because you never get stressed one even if you get stressed doing that will always help you to uh, reach your destination your dream objective dream goal you know the set objective that you are working for so you never get tired doing it you always find you know uh, you know very uh, refreshed rejuvenated when you are doing this you never get bored of it right and there is always this one objective which you need to chase so you are very very focused doing that the next question is based on how you are answering this what types of video games you play so answer in a technical perspective right entertainment perspective categorize it clearly why you like video game support yourself for what you got attracted to the game so how navin was able to answer it let's see his answer i play 
EA Sports Cricket and Temple Run all versions and puzzle word games. I feel like they need a lot of concentration on focus onto them when we play it. If we are out of focus even for some time then the game is over. I like puzzle games and cube games too. So what a way to answer. What you derive from the game, what you derive from your interest, what you derive from your, your passion is something which you need to relate it to the HR and say it so convincingly that there is a reason, there is a logic behind it, you know, why I do it. Let's have the next question also. Uh, you said your hobby is browsing. So this HR is very clever. He's catching, he's paying attention to whatever Naveen is saying so far and he's able to put uh, him on the spot. So he's trying his level best to maybe interpret what has been answered and make a question out of it. So the questionnaire, the HR says, you said your hobby is browsing. What do you browse for? Never tell Facebook or social media or Twitter or your Instagram, any other social network as uh, you know that area that you are browsing. Your browsing things should be useful. Spending time on social network may lead to bad impression on the candidate's front. If you even have this thing to this thing to speak to the HR, confiding what you do, then you should explain the good things you get through it or positive features of it and its good impact overall. Tell something other than what you search for. How Naveen did it? I browse for the new cars, mobiles and I'm passionate on bike. So I usually search for them and I also search for old historical places. The interviewer will now test you whether you really browse for them or not. It's not meant for just for the sake of answering that question because I'm sure the next question is going to come based on what Naveen has answered. As expected, the next question ought to come this way. What is the newest car that you searched for and what is the price of it? Putting Naveen on the spot. Since Naveen was a very, very believable, his trust factor is great, I know for sure. He was very, very truthful and honest, utmost honest. I like Rolls Royce cars. They are very expensive. The recent one is Rolls Royce Phantom extensive i think and its cost is somewhere around five crores but i like it so much i wish to possess it at one point of time exhaustive explanation of what he's browsing his conscious lot so he's not fooling himself so he's very clear what he needs to answer explain about your long-term and short-term goals so when normally when you have uh, such a question coming your way, I think long term goals are those which you want to become after a span of maybe uh, three to five years or maybe at a time of five years and short term goals are those which you want to become in a couple of years from now. So always can take into consideration you know those five years, take, it, take them into account, split it into first two years and the next three years and spell it very very you know nicely how Naveen answers this question is I want to be in such a position uh, where I should be easily able to handle a team of 50 to 60 very ambitious with great communication skills and corporate skills towards my clients this is my long-term goal but as of now my short-term goal is to start up my career to achieve my long-term goal for that I should work in a best platform where I can keep on learning some new things. Every year I want my new experience to be added to my to my previous year and that is where I want to start working with a growing organization like yours. What a way Naveen has answered. What is the biggest strength that you have? So explain about your strength. That can be anything. Your knowledge. Knowledge is confidence. Your confidence maybe your skill sets right your ambition whatever you feel that you are able to explain it out i think you should be doing it for example how naveen has approached this question is my biggest strength is my knowledge which helps me to bring my confidence every time uh, my parents are also one of my biggest strength as they always stand up by me you know boost me up when i feel weak and my self-confidence is going down 
I think the best armor of my life is my family, my values, and my parents. Give me the reason uh, why we should take you in your company, why we should hire you, right? Every HR questionnaire round would certainly have such type of question. So explain about those special qualities you have and how you are different from others and what best you are going to give them, give to the company as they are hiring you, right? So you need to be very, very clear on these parameters. What Naveen did was he answered it again beautifully well. I am a very good hard worker and also a quick learner. I can handle things in a smarter and a better way where everybody fails to do that. And also I'm a good decision maker. I can take right decisions right time, which is important thing for any candidate to work in a company as yours. So think about what is good in you. Maybe if you are a good listener, fast learner, good decision maker, uh, problem solver, very process focused. You can choose from anything and phrase your answer, but do not sound too obsessive. Too many skill sets, what you possess the best, I think you should envelope your answer, encircling your answer in and around that. It, what Navin did was a fantastic show. So if you have strength, you must be having your weaknesses. Never tell that you don't have weaknesses. Think and tell this answer before you land out. Think about it. Do you have weaknesses? You must be having surely. So think about those which are there existing. So answer in such a way that your weakness is one type of your strength. Always weaknesses comes out from your strength. If you say I'm very bad temper, which may be really your weakness, but don't share this one, because if you do so, then they may have some bad impression on your profile. It would need more kind of an explanation towards it. So avoid this. Share the other ones. For example, something which is not your weakness, but it may also be your strength. Right. How Naveen did, for example, I am good at communication, I would say. On a scale of 1 is to 10, I think I am 5 or 6. But I know this is also my area of improvement to take it to 8 or 9. This can be a fantastic way. But how Naveen approached this is, yes, I am having a weakness. I can't spend time leisurely. I have to do something to spend my time. So I keep on searching for any work, fun making or any creative thing so that I can keep myself strongly occupied always I'm trying to overcome this by making use of time in a useful way instead of doing simple funny things what a way try and learn the approach that is most important right what made you to come here to attend this interview why our company why us it can be anything like these but the question is don't simply tell that I need a job as we all know that we need some kind of an earning financial independence is our next objective if you even give the same answer just try to explain you want to earn money but how how Naveen did it I have pretty reasons for this firstly I have my one of the ambition to work with such a multinational company like yours secondly I want to have some earning coming my way as of now, I'm 22 and I don't want to depend on my parents for my lifestyle. Next, I want to uh, see myself in a good position where everybody respect me. And this organization is such a famous organization that it will definitely give me that kind of a reputation that I desire of myself. Some trickier question. Uh, are you interested to work on shifts? How this goes with Naveen? Naveen, uh, very cleverly he answers yes I am a bachelor he smiles so I don't have any issues with changing my shifts and all I can work in different environment any environment for that matter so Naveen was able to handle this question very nicely always be willing to learn you are starting your career so you need to be open with your learning pattern this answer actually clearly is a self-explanatory of what you think and how your willingness to learn Another question, give me an example of your good hard worker. This is the term that Naveen used, good hard worker. Tagged you, named yourself. Explain if you are not, let's say, if you're not a good hard worker, you say, say it like a disciplined worker or a very meticulous worker or a smart worker 
or a street smart uh, you know personality i think you need to be ready with maybe if you sh- showcase your leadership quality whatever you are right you need to be prepared with one example and what navin did was a fantastic show once again i can tell you this with one of the experiences of my life in the time of our college anniversary we planned for a skit and some of them didn't turn up to help us but i took the responsibility arranged everything before a day staying for a long time in our college and finally made it a big success everybody appreciated my big work we certainly do a lot of things on our way uh, when we graduate but we need to you know identify what you have done and correlate with the example be it discipline be it leadership be, be it problem solving decision making planning organizing getting resourceful whatever i think we all have done some of the other point we just need to be ready with that example next question is all right mr navin let's have some generic question but a trickier one tell me how will you react when you are under pressure so to answer such type of question it's better you take some examples of your own life and explain them how you reacted in those situations so navin was smart enough to answer this and beautifully well i'm a guy with more patience compared to others if you take up an example of my project work in my last semester of engineering we had over project review and lab review which had to be completed in very less moment of time i took a project which will take more time than that i have to plan my presentations and records and everything by the end of the day i completed and submitted all in time so i feel myself proud for that how well he explained not only he chose something which was just you know not conventional but he had an explanation he he, he gave good amount of time energy efforts and completed in uh, you know within that stipulated period just to sound that he had patience and he liked to work under pressure even otherwise whatever you might have done for the first time for example appearing for a board exam appearing for taking up science appearing for jeee and taking up engineering college doing a lot of assignments for the first time taking up internship doing a, a mini or a major project every time that you might have faced you know first thing in your life whatever that milestone that you have faced you might have faced it for the first time it is all that pressure so you can definitely look back in retrospect and say that every time you walk this life confidently facing that kind of a pressure so you know you understand that life is will always throw challenges with certain element of pressure in it and you know how to handle it because you have handled it in the past so well remember this Okay, let's try and understand this this question, right? What are the things that irritates you mostly in the workplace? Now, such types of questions are asked so that they can take out some negative areas of yours. Try to be smarter to understand that something which is might be your uh, gray area or something which you are falling short of, you need to work at it and answer it smartly. now how navin answers here is how the approach you need to understand you're getting irritated if somebody interrupts me in my work i cannot resist it if i am into work and someone comes and stops me without a reason i get irritated second time i get irritated is when people gossip when they can be constructive right even if they continue i will try to say them you know politely not to disturb my work or not to talk on this right and no other chances that i would ever get irritated so something that i don't take personally i don't get irritated but these two conditions are definitely definitely that keeps me irritated what what a nice way to answer let's take next question can you explain how good creative thinker you are so creativity is the other major quality of a candidate where a company expects for so explain about those things which you newly thought of and succeeded in it i do many creative things within my limit which i can find in my premises and so some examples of it are i created a bird using all the nuts bolts spins and uh, many other iron and steel things for example if you are an engineer this would be a lovely answer to you know to receive to be received you know to receive other than this i also prepare uh, home you know with pens pencil uh, different shape sizes and different colors 
Best of all is I produce electricity from bananas peel though it is of less voltage if we can try more peels which everybody throw from their home will be of great importance definitely efficient for producing electricity for the single home at least which I produced in my school science fair and also received awards for it this is how Naveen has answered and you can also creatively uh, approach this something which is out of the box something which adds value something which has never been uh, expressed that way never been explored that way show that kind of a creativity and let's for once you know be very clear that if we have shown that creativity if we have exhibited in any kind remember that and quote it as an example tell me about a time when your work on an idea of yours was criticized and how did you handle it so how do you face criticism how do you take criticism it can be asked in, in whichever way i think you need to again a tricky question you need to answer it there must be any situation among your friends or in the family or in the school life where you must have uh, you know been criticized for your idea for your approaches for your attitude anything of that sort right which you can you know nicely explain share about the same situation over here as an example for example how Naveen fared is oh yes I have been criticized for few ideas the most expected one which is being criticized is about the robot creation for data transferring within our college it has been rejected on security reasons though I was disappointed little for it but still got chance one thinking more on it in depth he is trying to put his, his interest his passion his work his creation his ideation into place and quoted as an example so that you know if criticism comes i think he's open to criticism if it's a uh, you know constructive criticism he's more than willing to take it up but at the same time if there is a destructive or a negative criticism i think you should you know smoke it off you know take it as uh, with a pinch of salt as simple as that right Okay, uh, did you face any situation where you don't have any, an idea about the technology or methodology in uh, doing the thing but you had to do it, then how do you handle it? Now this question is to know how good are you in behaving all the unexpected situations. Remember that your reaction over here should not impact the work which you have to complete. How Naveen answers this is only once I have been in such a situation where I don't know the subject and I have to work on it. The topic is to prepare a presentation on nano robotics and I just have an idea on sensing robots and general auto robots but not on nano robotics. So I had to learn about it so much and then prepare a presentation. I just worked it out anyhow but could not be able to answer all the questions of an experienced judge on nano robotic topics. So how subtly he is telling his shortcoming you know that yes he was not fully prepared and he was asked to do it when he was off to, to do it it's being you know a techno savvy or techno driven technology driven he definitely indulged into it but he was not able to completely protect the entire circle of it whenever there is uh, uh, a technology to be discussed a technology to be answered I think uh, there comes a situation where you are unable to express in case if your involvement is half-hearted or if it is half-baked so uh, you should be able to even you know handle such a situation and if you have handled in your past do remember to quote it here are you ready to work in any of the locations because we have requirement out of our state too so this question is typically asked you know to just judge whether you are uh, now serious only to work at your headquarter or you are uh, absolutely open for other locations too so explain them whether you are really interested or not whether you are or not I think either case you need to if you say yes for it then it can be any place in north or south or any part of the India that you have in your mind or you are absolutely open about it if you are not interested in doing to other places then I think you should be having reasons so how Naveen handled this is I would love that I am ready to move to other places and explore I don't have any problem in moving out of a state or out of country too so show your openness 
and flexibility and adaptability which will be one of the biggest biggest skill sets being desired at all point of time what all are the options that you have in your career career options in the sense they are asking about all those options if you have other than employment tell them what all the possibilities you have for employment or getting an entrepreneurial way right opening up a business in case if you have an idea and if you have decided a timeline to it might as well you know speak it but speak with the clarity and how navin fed here is right now in front of me i have an option of getting employed with one of the top mnc companies as yours and get identified as a software engineer of such a big organization i'm giving my best here by mistake even if i miss here i will come back with more efforts and after shining up myself with more those skills which i think i in case if i am committing it here so how subtly you know navin has is able to answer that right at times you are also asked hypothetical question you are given a situation and you need to respond on on a typical situation for example if you get an opportunity of going into your past what is the thing that you want to change how now look at the answer i fought with one of my best friend in my school i want to go and change that and bring my friend back into my life i realized the mistakes which i done at that time i just wanted to correct all of them and i miss my grandmother so much she died while i am in my intermediate i just wanted to go back and spend more time over there with her because she had a lot of nuances anecdotes of life i think they will be very very fruitful and beneficial in my career too how subtle how to get resilient right how to come to terms how not to regret something i think you have all seen here meaningfully you know displayed uh, portrayed by navin next questions what do you know about your organization what do you know about our organization so what do you know about us tell us something about our organization so how pertinent it becomes you know before coming to an interview be prepared with all the details of organization and it's some of the milestones this will help you certainly in answering many a question know this uh, first of all know this as uh, in top 3 of all the mnc companies it has dash many capital if you have certain amount of capital investment you should be knowing about it if you know about the number of employees it's good uh, what kind of a technology they develop i mean what they are into if you know only three four major things i think that will also be a great thing i would leave it to you what you choose but this is uh, a clear cut how much you know of the company what you prioritize and quote it it's it's entirely on you but it should match your vision maybe your values your ethics whatever that appeals you in that company i think put it as the foremost thing right next question in what areas you want to improve yourself after one year explain about the growth that you want to look in yourself technically after a year how uh, this can be answered i will improve my technical skills and also behavioral skills of group in the coming one year i will make myself best in the corporate skills so whatever that you know i have learned so far those were more of the you know professional technical skills some of the soft skills that i have gotten aware of but now i want to build it up and maybe scale it from the career point of view corporate life point of view skills which are transferable skills i think i need an in, need to invest there and that's the reason i am absolutely open with it next question is think in a case that you got this job you have this job now now tell me uh, what all the goals will you have in your mind so are you clear can you set an objective right now so uh, tell the goals that you want to set up if you don't have any idea then don't panic and answer them that uh, you will try to give the best right now this is uh, uh, one way of looking at it i will first set up in good environment good working environment good relationship with my colleague uh, my teammates understand the working pattern life and the, uh, then i will know the rules right and regulations of working style i would like to comply by them all 
uh, these will be my first priority and then i will know about important personalities of the organization organization way to approach my objective on my capacity okay the next question is this is 29th which was the most satisfied goal of yours in your previous environment uh, when you set up some goals you should be able to achieve them there must be many things in your life which you have set off achieving them and finally achieved tell those goals and the success story to the interviewer for example how could you phrase it how navin has done it i have set up a goal of acquiring 80 percentage of on an aggregate of my 4 years and i succeeded in that which is my best ever goal till now now the rest all though i have set up and succeeded this gives me the most happy point of my life now whatever that you have done right whatever you have scored be it academic scholastic or co scholastic for that matter sports music anywhere that you have done good i think this is the time to showcase that and do it very very emphatically be proud of it and when you state it maybe take a pride of you know uh, smiling and you know shoulders high and maybe at your chin high and talking about it question number 30 Did you face any trouble in coming up over here in this position? Well educated and getting jobs in one of the multinational companies? You have any such in your life? So, I'm sure many of us must have faced many hurdles throughout our education. Maybe life or anything for that matter. If you really have any such uh, then please explain it out. If not then explain about your peaceful journey of education and career and maybe life associated with it. right now how navin does it is no i don't have much hurdles in my life regarding the education or career or a personal life it was a little simple and painless path i had to go under stress for only few days and that too after intermediate because of my some family issues rest that i know of i had a peaceful life in my career so non complaining at the same time very resilient and in case if there is a course side towards life i think you need to explain it on a very very soft way have you undergone any such situations where you have been challenged challenging positions things or work is such a place you cannot easily work on or move on but still you have to do it so just think about such situations in your life where you are challenged and succeeded this achar is asking you of the most you know challenging time or objective or a hurdle or a task that you have you might have achieved or overcome how navin does it is no was never challenged for any such position for things in my life i expect it to happen in my future but as of now no such situations so he's categorically you know ruling it out stating that no i haven't faced but i definitely see there will be few things coming in the future so i'm absolutely prepared and i would like to sound confident because it is going to come so how hopeful how assertive an answer can be i think navin has shown once again next is 32 was there any situation which highlighted your spoken skills which you are focusing on some point that have to be done This question is meant to know about your spoken or communication skills in a mass or in any group of people where skills are respected explain about them with any of the situations in your life that you might have come across and how navin does it is i don't think i got such an opportunity to uh, get things around my word but there are few situations where when i started speaking then audience became silent and have their ears on my words this will be mostly when i start giving a seminar or even in some of the fun activities so uh, he has is also showcasing where he has exhibited such a skill right so he is not a technologically driven he is also a, a, a a material to be looked at uh, when it comes to seminar or maybe public speaking or any fun activities you know off sites next question would be explaining things to other people or the higher level people is an easy task or a difficult task for you so when it comes to delegation taking or maybe giving how difficult it is for you to maybe explain it to your junior seniors or the same level 
Again, this question is also meant to know about your spoken communication skills in a mass or in any group of people that you mingle with and also in explaining things that you, you know to others. So it's more of communication skills and expressing it to one or many. How uh, Naveen has done it is, I'm pretty good in explaining things. That may be to a higher authority person or the beginner or, or even of the same level. I have an idea of how to explain the things basing on the level of their understanding. So it's it's purely based on what the other's level of understanding is. I, I quickly, you know, gather it. I am able to understand it and I am able to deliver the same level of communication, be it any level that I'm operating with. Next question is uh, 34 brief on the most important written document or a presentation or any report which you have prepared or completed and submitted it. Written documents can be anything of subject related or project related or even about the presentations that you might have done in, in your past which you prepare in the college days, school days or any uh, you know forum that you are part of, any college clubs that, uh, that you are part of. Those are important in knowing your presentation skills. So outright presentation skills. So how Naveen does this? Written documents in the sense we prepared our project reports in complete blind book format in our last semester of engineering. That report contains all the information which is useful with the project. For that report alone, we are being appraised on the work. Other than that, the presentation which I give are self-prepared and they are of many in number. Some of them are even certified. Again, I'm telling you is that think about the approaches. Do not think about the answers directly. Think, frame it in your mind and then come out with the right temperament attitude to give the answers. 35th will be describe any example of yours on communication skills to a person who doesn't like you personally. So what a question. The question itself makes you understand that it is not about your communication skills but it is uh, time now to, to see that it is about your behavior. It is how you understand of the uh, of personality traits of others and how you are able to you know carry yourself well in uh, during such situation or countering such people in your lives. Right? So how Naveen does it is uh, this I had to face many times which is a reality. I don't know, it's, it's a reality for all of us. I don't know why but my lecturer not used to like me. So when the time came for explaining my project to my lecturer, she was not impressed with the topic, the topic that I have selected for. So she had many refusals for my project. I patiently solved all those troubles which she mentioned answered all the questions which she threw at me in a very polite subtle and I finally got my project approved for submission in this more than my subject knowledge my communication skills played important role and more than that understanding of personality also made me to realize that there will be certainly those many people I need to handle them I need to manage them and I do need to very well control the situation not keeping people in mind but keeping the agenda that I am associated with the people in mind. Next question is again uh, all the case studies coming now uh, 36 as you are a player and all you must have faced this type of situation where the team would not obey your words and will not work well together. How did you manage such teams? Generally these types of questions are asked to know about your team player you know that attitude have a team leader role once they take you into their organization, how will you behave with such a team which doesn't listen to you or which doesn't work well even under your guidance? There should be a proper way of answering this question. The answer can also be like what Naveen did. I face such a situation when a new cricket team has formed up with new players. There used to be few players who had their own timings, rules, regulations and maybe inclination and strengths and weaknesses. When it comes to a match, we always used to have a trouble with those typical guys. So what I did is I spoke to them once, explained them all the rules, regulations and way of playing on the field in critical situation and so on. And then on whenever they used to repeat their mischief 
our typical attitude. I used to report the same to a coach and he used to handle those guys. This way I somehow controlled our team discipline and togetherness. Naveen, well said. Next question is 37th. What do you work for? Is that for work satisfaction or for money? I know that many will work for money. An obvious question, an obvious answer to an obvious question. And some will work for work satisfaction. But give nice justification, a balanced view for whatever the answer which you have thought of. How Naveen does it is, this question is a little sensitive, sir, because I need both. I need my work satisfaction and also correct identification of it. When I have work satisfaction but not earning, then I cannot take it easily. And though I have good earning and I don't have work satisfaction, even then I can't take up the work. So I need both in my life. Well said. Bravo Navi. 38. Do you have any consideration in not working with some of the people? Any uh, restrictions? any kind of an inhibition this type of question is to know about your working environment and how easily you will be moving on with different kind of people so answer according to your own consideration if you have for example Naveen no I don't have any such consideration saying that I will not be able to work with such kind of people or such state people I'm an easygoing guy I will not have any discrepancies with any of the persons of any nature. Person religion or region or any other aspect does not bother me. So I don't think I will have any kind of an issue with any people that I work with. 49. If I go and ask a feedback of yours to your juniors, what would they say? They will like you or fear of you. Now, this is purely how you see yourself is a different thing than how you see that others see you, right? And how Naveen sees is, sure, you will get a good feedback from many. I would be mostly liked by many and respected more than fear. They will be seeing a good person to interact with most of the time instead of fear. So how well balanced, you know, he has given this this answer. keeping both the things uh, you know in place 40th is do you have any idea on service to customer so a uh, question which is of customer interaction customer service is the other main important thing a candidate should have to work in projects so this is an important question to know about the candidates way of speaking to customer for example Customer service is very important for those who handle multinational clients in their organizations as yours. I can handle such situations politely as I also consider that customer service is not a department. It's everyone's responsibility. How many of you are aware of such an answer? I don't know. Naveen, I like you. 41 will be describe about any of the best ideas that are being discussed and implemented by all of you. So it's now about idea and implementation of the team these types of questions are to know about your way of implementing or getting things done uh, which you have meant for which you have you always wanted to do it right so Naveen has his own version in my college we don't used to have a bridge like thing between students and management no proper interaction and no proper communication there even used to be not even some idea acceptance methodology so we in our college formed up as a team like clubs and started collecting up groups of idea from students who used to consider the advantages and disadvantages of each one and the best ideations used to go to the management level or for approval which the club members used to do it every now and then I think this is the best idea which I have implemented and was very successful. This is still running in a college with new club members. So some something that I have initiated which was not done, which was out of my comfort, I think I keep it very very high of one of my best efforts that I have put in. 42 will be, are you multitasking person who would not like to be? Explanation to this question internally means to know about you when in a team and when you will be handled with more than one task at a time to complete 
how will you handle such situations navin has an answer i am a multitasking person there are many situations where i can prove myself a small thing which i consider is priority of things if i want the second task to complete faster then i'll have to keep my first task aside complete my second task and then come back to my first task and complete it this way i handled my multitask so getting focused and talking about one thing at a time and completing maybe handling two but doing one at a time without losing the focus of the other but justifying concentrating focusing and detailing one at a time and still be able to keep the focus on other what a way to answer Forty third will be how will you plan a day? What all the dealings you have in a day and priorities assigned to them? So it's it's basically uh, as I already told you, there is a possibility that that uh, such questions will be arising only from your own words. So explain the way your day is planned because somewhere uh, before you might have uttered something. So just keeping that in your mind, just explain the same planning. how navin fared was in this manner in this morning i will definitely took a note of all the important tasks that i have to complete for the day and also which can be completed maybe later on uh, this way i assign priorities to all my deals and by the end of the day i will cross check the high priority things which had to complete by the end of the day and completed or not this will also help me in remembering the things often so uh, i think he was very very clever to uh, prioritize thing know what is urgent for the day and what is important for the day and ensure monitor monitoring that he has completed or not is clearly clearly visible with the answer did you go through the role of a leader any time this type of question is to know about your leadership skills outright how good you were in that so navin was a leader born leader Oh yes I have been as a leader for many events at a college some of them are technical fest cultural fest in my department college anniversary celebration and many such events whenever i organize i consider of only one thing i'll get things done by them other than this i do nothing so i make such environment they will start showing up their own talent into the work and i will definitely guide them if they need any help of any kind again mastering the man management mastering the resources mastering the time is something which comes over a period of time and unless practice it will never come so how honest how uh, you know subtly or lucidly he was able to explain that he was a born leader 45th will you be able to adapt to the new technologies which we ask you and even train you in that now this is such a question which most of the industries wanted to know for because though you get trained in one technology there may be a situation where they need urgency in other technology as well simultaneously or maybe outrightly so they will train some of the candidates for that new technology tell what is possible for you to do if you have done it if you are flexible adaptable open to new learning i think you should have an answer as navin did yes i can learn new technologies when i need but i'll make sure that i'll work with such a technology in which i am good and best than others because it's the bottom line is company and if i am into it i want to ensure it doing it my best 46 how do you motivate your teammates or any people can you give an example of the same so if you have been a motivator right inspiring others this is question to check that navin has it so he gives it i keep motivating myself and i also help my mates in that i keep people inspiring uh, around me when they get disappointed in any things i am there to motivate them uh, with some of the live example in outside world one of the best i did is one girl used to be there in my college named gitika she had very good voice she sings amazingly but she has l- lot of stage fear I motivated her in one of a college audition to participate. She tried on that day. It was her first song on stage. I was so happy for that. She is now practicing music in Delhi Music Academy. 
the same happened with some other boy we have confusion with his career and he don't know what he has to do in future so i did only one thing i explained all those uh, good and bad of the paths that he would like to undertake then he took his own decision and now he is working with an mnc 47th what are the things that will break your patience having patience is the biggest biggest quality of a person because if the stress come and it is bound to come then this is one single aspect trait of a personality which will help to overcome any kind of a work stress any kind of a uh, you know mind block stress right uh, so when they ask such a question you need to really answer at what level your patient breaks i mean that is what the point has to be noted so our hero navin does it beautifully well there are very few things which break my patience i will get patience less only when i lose all my hopes and beliefs and things but what i do to overcome is try to move out of the place get some refreshment have some break outside with friends try to get some energy from my loved ones and will come back again with a new spirit okay 48th is what expectations you have after this interview this is to test your confidence level how you are fed do you know are you conscious enough or no or not and navin as always a conscious being he answers this so i'm pretty confident after this and i was even before coming to this place as confidence is my strength sir i've already told you i will never lose this thank you 49 let us consider some rating of a b c d a is the best of all then b then c and the least is d if you are an interviewer how you rate for such a candidate as you yourself never never underestimate your rating or your appearance had they seen be confident in rating yourself what you feel the best that you have fared at that point of time and navin does it i will definitely rank with grade a to a candidate as myself next question from how many days you have been in search of a job and this is your which one which attempt some questions will be just asked to know about your current situation and the way you are carrying yourself in life in front of them is it making any kind of an impression and it is directed towards that navin says so this is my first mnc company previously i used to attend only for college mock interviews mock selections out of the college i never tried for any multinational company short simple sensible next is how much salary you are expecting this question is again a typical one for fresher and is the best one for experience right way of answering should not be numeric never as i am fresher i don't have any idea on how much is the effort going to be spent and how much is the payment given for effort so i just have an idea as it is mentioned in your placement offer details as 4.5 lakh per annum i even expect the same finally the last question do you have any question for us always be ready with this this is one of the best question which you should make use of in a very very proper intelligent manner ask about the organization which you want to know or ask about the doubts you have in their offer and navin says i have one question when can i expect a call letter from you so this guy is really very assertive very hopeful very positive optimistic enthusiastic has level headed brain and he is very very sharp in terms of its approaches not a single answer of his was a correct answer or a wrong answer but the answer was what an approach an approach which clearly shows how much he has as a vigor how much he is job ready how much he he is you know prepared himself in terms of temperament attitude and behavior to to maybe not to these 52 questions but any question that might come up in future so i think what we are talking about here is the temperament the attitude and the approaches which every everyone of us needed at this point to prepare the best 
and if you have that kind of a psyche let me tell you one fine time you will also try to believe in yourself that you can control any hr interview and that is a point where when you uh, are best prepared why everyone is saying it is so important to crack an hr interview why because even if you get good marks in written test you need to perform well in an interview also then only you will get the job nowadays the competition is growing rapidly so they are eliminating the candidates while conducting the interviews and it is so rapid fire that one once if you are exposed to any kind of question not know answering them in a proper way i think they easily gauge this and you are you shown the exit door hence it is very important for all of us to know that what needs to be done while attending interview what we should not do in interview typically uh, it's very in, uh, important to know the tips uh, for telephonic round interview for the online interview especially at this point the video conference interview where you are sitting across and you you have certain limitations but you have uh, the confidence to face any question and on a spur of the moment answer them back so it is all about preparing it is all about knowing it is all about practicing and coming out and showing your best so it basically starts with preparation plan prepare practice and you are there chart out your 10 good companies that you wish to work right identify them know their websites go through the websites try to have a kind of a gist been made ready for those company to speak in case if they happen to come your way i think by doing this you are you are slowly getting into the groove right preparing yourself one step towards professionalism and once you'll start knowing it and noting it down you would certainly be prepared in many a ways to to get started knowing the company first right and the kind of culture it has the kind of job it, it offers the kind of re- renovation it offers i think it it is to do with every every bit of what it takes for an interview right and uh, it's it's very simple that your knowledge is inversely proportional to the fear factor the fear factor is high if your knowledge is less if your knowledge is good your confidence is good and the fear factor is minimized so many questions keep coming how to uh, not to be nervous or kill the fear factor it has no science it has no logic except that one has to go through it if you think that pain is something which is unbearable i think you need to take medicine and the only medicine that you have is be prepared and what better way to know it when you have around 6 months or 1 years time it's that time that you need to start and keep doing it of course we are always there to assist you in case if you have any query question please put it here we are all all there to help you maybe uh, more than a help uh, to all of you best best wishes to all of you thank you so much